Then another hot topic these days is personal branding, because at the end of the day, you're kind of selling yourself to the employer. This is my values, this is what I can bring to the table, and this is how I can contribute. In that sense, what tips you have to people who are not used to creating that personal brand or they are new immigrants and they don't know what to do with this new uh, world that they are in now? Yeah, well, first of all, I understand the question. I kind of loathe it in the same way, right? This whole notion of what's your personal brand. Uh, it's, it's kind of what's your true self. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd rather talk about, Mur. No. When we talk about your true self, that means you're not hiding behind who you are. Now, you're not um, being overly pretentious. You're not being overly exerting who you are. You're not, you know, being a Hollywood celebrity. Like, look at me, look at me, look at me. That's bad advice, but I don't want to associate branding or your personal branding with what I really believe makes more sense, which is what's your true self? So what are your likes? What are your dislikes? Mm -hmm. You know, there are things that you're good at and there's things that you're not. Being open, transparent, and honest about what it is that makes you tick and what it doesn't mm -hmm. is far better a strategy in my opinion than a brand or some sort of personal identity mm -hmm. that sort of screams here's my website here's my youtube channel right and this all the things that go along with that so i don't knock the the question because a lot of people uh think they need to have a personal brand what i would recommend however maher is that you're just thinking about what is it that's me and how might that employer look at those characteristics of me rather than what is the brand of me. And that would be uh, advice from a, an executive who's hired hundreds of people over the years. Yeah. That's a great perspective. But I also feel that you have to be authentic when you're you, you interviewing and when you're in your job, right? You can't just divide yourself when you're home different and at work different. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good point. And so when I see, for example, uh, potential leaders, employees, executives, and in interviews, and they sort of have this suit on, and whether it's female or male, it's not, it doesn't matter, but it's this, well, that's not really you, is it? And it's not just the physical clothing, it's the metaphor of the suit. They've sort of put on this weird suit that they're not, they're acting differently. And sometimes I, I recall in some of my interviews, like, you know, just, just dial it down a bit here. Who yeah. are you really? <laughs> you know, just stop the metaphor of this Teflon suit or the metallic suit or whatever. Like, it's not really you. Tell me about yourself. Yeah. Like, what's your family like? What, what's, what's your biggest mistake and what'd you learn from that? And that goes back to authenticity, to your very valid point. So when you're inauthentic in an interview or a job search, and you're, again, going back to the branding question, if you're kind of pumping up your brand, yeah, uh, you're missing the point entirely of what people really truly want. They want yourself and they want you to be authentic with that. Thank you for those great tips, Dan. And again, for the audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips in terms of identifying who you are, authentic self or personal brand, please leave in the comment section and tune in next time for another great question with Dan.